hi everybody. Hi boys and girls. Yeah, yeah, it's me, Beach Baby Bob. Uh, I'm wearing this crazy hat because it's just been a beautiful day here. Sunny and beautiful and warm, summertime. And I had to wear my sunglasses because it was so bright out and I was working in the garden. But I decided to read a book and, and the one I'm going to read to you today, or at least tell you the story, is uh, called Jillian Jiggs. And uh, Phoebe Gilman is the author and illustrator. Phoebe Gilman is an American lady. There's a picture of her on the back. She wrote all the words and she um, made all the pictures and won all kinds of awards for making books for kids. And she did quite a few about Jillian. So anyway, this is called Jillian Jigs and it was made way back in 1985. So um, anyway, maybe I should take my hat off and my um, my glasses so I can tell you the story or at least read you some of it. So come on over and sit beside me on the swing here and get a good close look at the pictures. So the story is called Jillian Jiggs and it's about a little girl. She's about six or so years old and she loves to dress up. But when she first was born, she came into this world naked like the rest of us do when we're born. But as soon as her mother started to put clothing on her, like diapers and cute little dresses and shirts and pants, Phoebe was thrilled, or not Phoebe, but uh, Jillian was uh, thrilled. She just loved to wear different clothes and jewelry and play all kinds of pretend. So this is the story of her. So, so anyway, one day uh, Jillian was playing pretend in her room and her mother came in and my goodness was she upset. She was really upset. What a mess. And she looked around and she always said to Jillian over and over again, Jillian, Jillian, Jillian Jiggs, it looks like your room has been lived in by pigs. And Jillian would always say, later, I promise, as soon as I'm through, I'll clean up my room, I promise. I do. So anyway, her mother would leave her and she would play some more and her little sister was always there dressing up with her. And um, she um, liked to be um, wearing all kinds of things. Like she had flippers on her feet and hearts on her head and she was having a great time one day and then outside at the window, um, Rachel and Peter from across the street, they called and said, Jillian, Jillian! Can we come in and play too? And she said, sure, come on in. So they came in and they discovered some boxes and they decided to go out into the yard and make something with these boxes. And you know how much fun that is. Whenever you get a hold of a box, you can make things with boxes and pretend and have a great time. And so they made stuff and they were really, really working hard at that. And then when they were finished, they called out Jillian's mother and they said, well, can you guess? Can you guess who we are? And she said... A mother could tell by the tip of a toe. And she looked and she knew which one her little daughter was and she knew which one Jillian was by her feet. Well, she thought, that's, that's okay. Jillian's having a lot of fun, but I wish she would clean up the mess. But Jillian, even though her mother was quite upset and dragged her into her room to clean it up, Jillian said, wait, 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 wait. And her mother said, no, no, Jillian. It looks like your room's been lived in by a pig. It's so messy. And Jillian said, well, I'll clean it up. But first, first, I have to do something. And her mother started to pull her hair out. She didn't know what to do. And the kids were there. And they said, look, Mrs. Jiggs, we'll help Jillian clean up her room. And she said, okay. And she left. And then Jillian said, well, we're going to do that, Rachel and Peter but we got to do something else first. So they went over to the bed and they decorated the bed and they decorated themselves so they looked like pirates and the little sister was holding the skull and crossbone flag and they were sh shipping away and having a great time going across the sea in the pirate ship that they made. When of course, the mother, she wanted them to clean it up but they were so busy they decided to be dragons really really scary dragons and monsters and then they dressed up like trees pirates and they even dressed up like chickens they were having a great time i don't know where she got all the stuff but jillian had all kinds of things for pretend and for dress up 
and her room was getting scarier and scarier by the minute, especially when they had these monster costumes on and they were hollering and yelling and then they decided that they were going to be witches and make stuff. You know, witches wore these long dresses, these black dresses and these pointed hats and they were having a great time. But the room, boy, the room was really getting messy. Well, anyway, before they decided they were going to clean it up, they decided that they wanted to be royalty, kings and queens and chariots. And, oh, they were having a great time dancing and throwing things. And what a great fun it was in the room. Whenever they thought it was time to clean the room up, though, they thought of something else. Costumes galore. Looks like a lot of fun to me. I wish I was there too, because I like dressing up into costumes. Finally, Jillian's mother came in and she couldn't take it anymore. And she said, Jillian, 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 Jigs, you gotta clean up your room. It looks like you were a pig. And Jillian said, well, well, I will, I will, I will, but first I've gotta do one more thing. And that did it. Her mother fainted right on the floor. And Jillian thought, oh no. She tried to help her mother up, because she's really an angel at Jillian Jiggs. And her mother said, Jillian, Jillian, Jillian Jiggs, it looks like your room has been lived in by pigs. And Jillian said, later, I promise, as soon as I... And her mother grabbed her and said, nope, you're gonna clean up this mess right now, this very second, not later. I want this room tidy, I want this room straighter. Well, the kids, Rachel and Peter, they thought, oh, we better get out of here. Her mother is really upset. You'd better know, though, by now the room is looking great. The kids across the street have left. Jillian's mother's happy. And Jillian says, see you tomorrow when everything is neater. We'll start all over again. Jillian Jiggs. You might want to look for that one at the library. See you later.